Hi, hello, and welcome again. Thank you so much for joining me this week. My name is Megan Rosendahl. I am the crafting coach, and I've got a neat possible Father's Day idea in store for this week. Do you have a man in your life that's just impossible to buy for? Well, I think I might have a solution for you. This week, we're going to turn cardboard beer cases into coasters. This project is inexpensive and can be personalized to fit any, well, taste. So here is what you're gonna need for this week's project. Ceramic tiles. I found these at Menards for 16 cents each. Cardboard beer cases, whatever kind you'd like to use. I recommend the six pack holders as the cardboard isn't too thick. A pack of felt guards, little felt circles like you'd use on the bottom of wooden chairs. You can also line the entire bottom of the coasters using a felt sheet. Mod Podge and clear lacquer finishing spray. You'll also want to grab a scissors, a ruler, a paintbrush, and a pen or a pencil. The first thing to do is double check the measurements of your tiles. I like to cut my beer cases slightly smaller than the tile to give it a thin border. When you know what size, Take a look at your beer cases and measure a squared off portion that will look good on its own. Create an outline on all of your beer cases first, and then we'll cut them all out. When you've got all your cutouts ready, we can begin gluing them onto our tiles. Now, we'll be applying multiple coats of Mod Podge, but this first coat is crucial. Start by applying a reasonable amount of the Mod Podge directly to the cardboard. Keep in mind to really get the corners to ensure that they stick. Place it on the tile and use the wet glue to manipulate where you want it to stick. Press down hard on all four corners and all four sides. When it's sticking pretty well, apply a generous amount of Mod Podge over the top of the entire tile. Move in fluid up, down, and side to side movements for an even application. Set it aside for about 8 to 10 minutes so it can dry before applying the second, third, and fourth and final coat. When your last coat is dry, we're ready to apply the finisher. I'm going to hold the sprayer about 8 to 12 inches away and give it a nice even cover. Make sure you do this in a place that you don't mind the excess getting onto because the lacquer can turn the surface underneath it a bit yellow. You can spray a second coat on that if you'd like, but let the first one dry before doing so. When it's dried and ready to go, we'll finish off the coasters by adding our felt guards to the bottom. Now all it needs is a nice, cool beverage. And that is all there is to this. This project is very time consuming just because we have to wait for stuff to dry, but the end result is awesome. I spent 64 cents on tiles, and I got the cases from a wonderful couple who have excellent taste in beers that come in really creative packaging. Not including the cost of the beer if you do have to buy it, we found another project that comes in at just around 10 bucks. And it really makes a thoughtful gift. And it maybe is just in time for Father's Day. I want to thank you once again for taking the time to sit down with me and watch this video. As always, I'll be back next Saturday with a brand new project just for you. We'll tear it apart, we'll break it down, we'll tell you what to do, we'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow me on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. Also be sure to follow the Aberdeen American News online and on Facebook, where all of the Crafting Coach videos will be made available for you. If you have any tips, ideas, or suggestions, please don't hesitate to email me at mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com. We'll see you in a week. Bye.